All right, hi guys. So I'm gonna be talking about how cells can talk to each other and warn each other that a virus is in the body and you better get ready for it. And this is super important, especially with all the virus stuff that's in the news now. So here I have cell number one and cell number two. See, we could just imagine that these are maybe epithelial cells in your lungs or something like that. So cell number one is gonna get infected by a virus. So the viral RNA is going to come into the cell and take over. So this cell is pretty much done for it. This cell didn't know it was coming for it and it's probably gonna die. So we have our nucleus of our cell here. Um, the virus comes in and is replicating a bunch more viruses inside the cell, which are eventually going to be released to be able to infect other cells in the body. Meanwhile, some of that viral RNA that got in can actually signal to the DNA that's inside the nucleus to make interferon alpha and beta. Interferon alpha and beta are signaling molecules that allow one cell to talk to another cell. Because remember, our cells don't have mouths, our cells don't have ears, so they can't say anything and they can't hear anything. How they talk to each other is actually through molecular interactions. So while the virus is up here making a bunch of virus, this cell is super sneaky and he makes a bunch of interferons. So he makes these proteins and sends them out of the cell. And these proteins then are a signal to this cell, to cell number two. Through molecular interaction, these interferons interact with this cell. When this cell gets a sense that there's interferons out there, he knows, okay, something's going down, I need to get ready for it. So what happens in his nucleus with his DNA, he starts making antiviral proteins. Because he got the signal from his buddy friend, hey, there's a virus around, you should get ready for it. Now the virus is done assembling in cell one and is released from the cell and goes and infects this guy. So he comes in the cell, but this cell was ready for him. He has antiviral proteins already made to destroy this virus and not allow it to infect cells any further. And that's how our cells can talk to each other when they're virally infected, or just one of the ways that they can talk to each other when they're virally infected.